What is up guys, Angelo Ramos here, and today I'm going to show you how to do a smooth zoom out transition in Final Cut Pro 10 without using a plugin. This transition can be really helpful when you're cutting from a tight shot to a wide shot or a drone shot maybe. Before we jump in the video, I just want to ask you guys to drop a like below. Let's get this video to 100 likes. If you're new to the channel, definitely hit that subscribe button to see more Final Cut tutorials, filmmaking tutorials, camera gear reviews, and short films in the future. Without further ado, let's jump into it. Okay, so once you have the two clips that you want to transition between, go to the beginning of the first clip and set a scale keyframe. Go to the end of the first clip, go three or four frames back depending on how fast you want this transition to be. I'm going to go four frames, three, four, and set your scale to 140%. Then go back to the end of the clip and go back to 100%. Use this arrow to go back to the last keyframe you set. and blade the clip using command B. Now go to your effects tab, find the zoom effect and drag this in to the middle clip here. I usually find that 32 is too much zoom for this effect so I usually like to take it down to 20 but you can play around with that and see what you like. Now, go to your second clip, go to the beginning, add a, another scale keyframe, and set this one to 140%. Go three frames in, and then set this back to 100%. Blade the clip using Command B. Add your zoom. Take it down to 20. And you pretty much just have your zoom effect right there. What I usually like to do is add some sort of whoosh sound effect. And you can find these pretty much anywhere online if you just search whoosh sound effect but I think I found this specific one on freesound.org. So shorten it to match up with your transition. And then I usually like to use bass boost instead of flat. And just like that, you have this really simple, smooth zoom out transition that you can use in your films. As always, if you enjoyed this tutorial and learned something from it, drop a like below and comment what tutorial I should do next. To see more Final Cut tutorials like this in the future, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys later.